Hello Army and Navy Academy. Welcome to the first installment of our broadcasting class. We are ANA TV and I am Colton Fidelman. ANA TV or video production is a year-long UC approved class, part of the Visual and Performing Arts Department. We are the eyes and voice for the Corps of Cadets this year. We produce content by students for students and you're watching our very first segment. We report on sports, school activities, and anything important on and off campus. We'd like any cadet or teacher who has a story to tell or event to show to come to room 402 and let us know, and we'll be there to report. We are here to listen and work with you to get our story out there. These segments are shown in class, then posted to our Army and Navy Academy YouTube channel. Let's begin. The gate opens to a new adventure at the Army and Navy Academy, and a big part of that adventure are the new cadets and new staff members on campus. Though it feels like the year just started, there have already been a variety of different events celebrating a range of topics. Hosted by Ms. Ramirez, Cadet Major Kerwin, and Cadet Captain Jeremy Zhao, we celebrated Hispanic Heritage Month, where we appreciated a a staff of the Hispanic Heritage for their amazing work throughout the years they've spent here at the Academy. We even heard many different stories about the lives of our staff and their time here at the Army and Navy Academy. In memory of the lives lost during 9-11, a ceremonial wreath was placed in honor of the fallen and a prayer for the well-being of our first responders was said, with members of the Carlsbad Fire and Police Department present to help with the ceremony and to honor the fallen alongside us. These events are just the beginning and there are many more to come. We are here to report, this is Cole Fidelman with ANA TV. The Army and Navy Academy was founded 113 years ago by Thomas A. Davis, and it used to be a hotel before it became a school. Since then, leaders of the Academy have been taking care of the building slowly and adding on to the already existing ones. Many cadets have graduated to become great people. A good example would be former cadet Oscar Fitzgerald. He was a graduate of 1960. He returned to show his appreciation for the start the Academy gave him in a very big way. Mr. Fitzgerald donated a very generous amount in order for us to build the new appropriately named Fitzgerald Hall. On August 22nd, we all gathered to celebrate the grand opening of the new building. It is accommodating our aviation program as well as our computer science classes. With the creation of this building, there are many more opportunities for this Academy to grow and prosper. From ANA TV, I am Eric Hong. Even though adjusting to a completely new environment is a challenge to all of us, we notice that some cadets find it easier to adapt to the new school setting, which doesn't seem to minimize the compassion or the understanding of the struggle. I think that's them accepting uh, the, the fact that they have to be here. They have a choice, but they, you know, they're, they're here for a reason. And that um, the challenge of accepting that is, is, having, is pushing them back. Um, and once they, I, I believe that once they start to figure out the idea that, hey, I'm here, and that I, I accept that I'm here, and if, if I'm here now, um, I'm going to do the best I can. And so once they start to figure that out, I think they'll be a lot better. Lance Romani, a first-year cadet at Army-Navy Academy, thinks that having a clear concept of our goals here at the Academy helps shorten the process of adjustment. I would definitely say find something you're very passionate about and find sort of a goal you want to reach um, and, and look toward what, you, what to do to sort of get there. Um, and once you, once you find those steps, it'll, it'll be, create a path for you to, to really go forward. Lance is already a platoon sergeant in this company, which does not come as a surprise once we know what path he sees for himself in the future. Uh, I, I want to serve my serve the military, uh, so uh, going here it, it'll, it'll help me sort of gain an edge to go to the Naval Academy, for example, um, and, and I just want to serve my country as well as uh, give back to the people who, who did so much for me um, and make them proud. The interview with Lance made me brush up on my purpose here on the campus and beyond. I hope you feel the same way. For ANA TV, I'm Cadet Nathan Torres. The Academy introduced a new concept this year that empowered our senior cadet leaders to do what they do best, mentor. If it's adjusting a brand new routine and the ongoing challenge of waking up on time, the cadet leaders have gone down that road and mastered it. Now they're here to tell us we can too. 
Uh, I really miss my parents during that first month. I tell kids this every time I see them. They ask, you know, when does it get better? And I say the second semester. The first semester is always hard. No matter who you are, no matter where you're from, no matter if you go home on the weekends, no matter if you're a day student, just this major period of your life of adjustment is, is going to be hard no matter who you are. If you ever wonder who to go to, don't hesitate. Our struggles are very similar, and we can support each other the best we can by helping someone we may not know or trust quite yet. A lasting friendship can be creative. The most important thing is reaching out to somebody. No one knows you have a bad day unless you tell someone you have a bad day. So it's, it's just about communication, and once you get that down, you'll have less and less bad days as time goes on. For ANA TV, I'm Kevin Yee. There are three new tech offices at ANA this year. ANA TV went out to investigate the role that tech offices hold on campus. What a tech officer does is help mentor, provide uh, guidance and discipline to our cadets here. The TAC, or Training, Advising, Counseling Officer, is a very important part of each company's success. Techs usually arrive every day at 2.30 after classes end. They provide training and guidance for the rest of the day. They make sure we show up at PE, do our homework, clean our room, and they are always there to listen to all of our concerns trying to grow we're all mentally trying to challenge each other we all want to be the best version of us that we can be and I think that's what kind of our bond is is that we all have a common goal here at Army Navy Academy to be the best version of ourselves that we can be and that's where I find common ground with the young men in Alpha Company. Without a doubt techs have one of the most important positions here at the Academy in terms of shaping and guiding the cadets developmental experience and they are one more way for us to reach out when we are indeed. What is your favorite thing about Army and Navy? My favorite thing about the Army and Navy Academy has to be the cadets. The cadets, um, to see them grow and to see them uh, to overcome some of these challenges is, is quite rewarding. For AA TV, my name is Jin Chen Wang. We have a total of five new teachers on campus. They all are fairly new to their professions and are in the process of getting used to a new environment, especially an old boys boarding school. Everybody lives here, they eat together, they have sleepovers together, they play sports together. It's a lot of everyone together. So I feel like the sleepover just kind of continues on into the classroom every day. It's not only us students that face challenges adjusting. Teachers starting a new job do as well. We have our friends, our sports, our goals that push us forward. What helps teachers be their best? Family seems to help. I grew up with three brothers, and so I'm around boys a lot. And so anytime I introduce something, I'll, I think to myself, would my brothers like this? And then I go from there. I feel very fortunate, actually. This is probably the most supportive school I've been to in terms of other faculty helping out. Because of the nuanced situation of an all-boys school. Everyone's been really supportive in helping me figure out strategies and how to work best with an all-boys team. No surprises there. The support system for teachers is not any different from our own. Family, friends, and new goals help our new teachers be the best they can be for us. This is first time teaching Spanish, which was always my dream job, so I'm really happy to be teaching this subject. We welcome our new teachers the same way they welcomed us in the classroom. I have found an all-new appreciation for their efforts and have every intention to help them in creating the best environment for us to grow in. For ANA TV, I am Corey Fatiaki. The start may have had its own challenges, but when we walk around campus now, two months in, we are able to capture a lot of amazing moments of brotherhood in an environment that fosters a strong sense of community. Especially this past weekend, during all the activities and homecoming celebrations, we saw many smiling faces proudly showing off our school spirit. For AA TV, I'm Jing Chen Wei. I hope you enjoyed our first segment of the year. See you next time.